Hi right, everybody, we'll take just a few minutes to do a little video on showing how we mount our heavy duty T-bar down to uh, your boat. Um, if you can get under the, the, the deck where you're gonna mount these things or under your gunnel rails, um, best way to do it is always put the bottom plate nuts and washers. That's the best way to do it, okay? And by the way, quick tip, if you're gonna, if you're gonna use much stainless steel, always get used to putting some lubricant on the threads okay uh if you don't stainless to stainless or stainless and aluminum it'll gall up seize up whatever you want to call it you won't be able to get that nut or or uh, screw out so we use chapstick just a little wax or something put a little bit on the threads and, and to run the nuts up on there will help you uh, be able to take them off sometime if you want to take them off anyway after we get that mounted that's the best way to mount the thing to the deck. If you can't get underneath, um, there's other ways to do it. Um, but what we suggest when you're setting these up is, is to put the mount down where you want it on the deck, and then take a sharpie pen on 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 your deck, aluminum, whatever you're doing it on, and mark those holes with a sharpie pen, and then come in and punch those, and drill them holes out for a quarter twenty screw. Now, if you can't get underneath where you're mounting these. There's several different ways to do this, okay? Um, you can use sheet metal screws, okay? You can use machine screws, okay? Which which those are on the kit, and if you can use the machine screws, you need to be able to get underneath, but use the wood, uh, the sheet metal screws, or there's a product out there called rivet nuts, okay? The rivet nut, uh, you have to drill a 3 8 hole uh, where you need these, okay? And so you drill a hole, three-eighths, and you stick his rivet nut down. And this is gonna be a little more pricely. Some people like them. I personally don't, okay? Um, but but that'll be in there like that. And then you got a special rivet tool. Now you gotta buy this. This is around 60 or 80 bucks, okay? And what that does, you're gonna screw this arbor into that, and then, and then, insert the gun on there I'm sorry I did that wrong but um, you'll screw the rivet nut on it put it in the hole and then you'll it'll pull it up crimp to the boat but you got a big 3 8 hole that you drilled in your boat so it is still a good way to mount it, okay if you want to go that route um, now we talked about real quick drilling holes if you have carpet on your boat okay and this is from experience. If you take a drill, first you can't mark this with a Sharpie pen. If you take a drill and a drill bit and drill down through your carpet, some of you guys knows what I know what I'm getting ready to say. It'll grab the nap of that carpet and, and it'll make a run like that. Okay, you don't want to do that on your boat. So, quick tip here is when you hold your mount in, that's where you're going to put the T-bar. Take a, take a soldering iron. This is just a cheap Harbor Freight soldering iron. And you're gonna take and hold it down in there and melt that hole in that carpet, okay? Melt that hole in that carpet. And you're gonna do that in each hole. Now, take that off and you'll see I have the holes drilled. Now what that'll do is that'll keep that carpet from running the nap running down that thing. So that's one way you can do it in your carpet. Save, save you some grief. Um, if you can't do that and you have to do the, the, the other way, I forgot to mention with the sheet metal screws, this product here called 3M5200. When you're using just, and this is the way I would do it if you can't get underneath it. Use a number 12 or number 14 sheet metal screw countersunk. It'll look exactly like that when you're done. Take a little bit of 3M5200 adhesive and just put just a little bit on there. Not much, cause if you put a lot on it, when you get this tight, it's going to swarm out. And real quick, when you're using the sheet metal screws, you need to drill a pilot hole in your boat, okay? Use the right pilot bit. Too big, it's not going to hold. Too little, it's liable to twist that screw off or, or strip out the Phillips head. When you're putting that screw in, it's okay to use a screw gun, but, as you're screwing it in, don't ever run it home. Don't ever let it get as tight as it get. 
Well, use that screw to keep you from having to turn so many times on the screws. Use that to run the screws in and then take a Phillips screwdriver and hand tighten those tight, okay? That's key. This screw gun will run it down in there and strip it off sometime. You don't want to do that. And uh, so there's the mount techniques that we use to mount stuff. Uh, get, them, get them tight, uh, get them mounted, and let them pull.